But first, we're off to the other side of Edinburgh to Tynecastle, where Motherwell made an emotional return to playing football after the anguish of the last couple of weeks. Commentary from Paul Mitchell. It's been a difficult time for everyone at Motherwell Football Club, but today they resume playing as the Scottish Cup campaign gets underway. There's been so many emotions for Mark McGee to have dealt with. His job now focused once more on the field of play. For Stevie Frail, he continues to challenge his heart side to be as good as their potential. The arrival of the Scottish Cup gives Hart a break from the recent gloom of the SPL. Three changes from the side that drew against Kilmarnock. Stevie Banks was injured on Monday. Eduardo Skurskis takes his place in goal. Elliot and Jonsson are out. Andy Driver and Michael Stewart return to the starting 11. 14 days since Motherwell last played, the absence of the number 10 felt by everyone, but particularly by David Clarkson. Paul Quinn with the added responsibility today of the captain's armband. The saying that life goes on may be trite, but it's true, and today, while no one can tell truthfully how they feel, they've had a moment of contemplation, and Paul Quinn will lead his men as Motherwell come back to action. Our referee Stuart Dougal having completed his service with FIFA now concentrating on domestic matches. Well, gone but not forgotten. The sign on the jersey, the autograph of Phil O'Donnell, Stephen Cregan, urging his men this afternoon. Well, what a statesman he's been from Motherwell, Mark McGee. Underway in the Scottish Cup. Andy Driver. Oh, just thump heavily out of play by Stephen Cregan. Cregan easily wins it. Dropped it down to Clarkson. Stephen Hughes to Jim Patterson. Patterson forward, Karapidis, and he's second game back. On the far side, good play from McCormack. McCormack still going for the byline. Cuts it across, and then an early opportunity for David Clarkson. Ball breaks back to Lasley. And Hans managed to clear. Vilichka trying to take on Patterson. Well, the first chance of the match falls Motherwell's way. David Clarkson. It's all about McCormack getting away from Palazuelos. Karapidis that went past him, Clarkson, good block from Berra. Gonzalez pulls it across, Chisnauskas waits for it. Lichka, great little twist and turn, gets away, lays it out wide onto Robbie Nielsen. And the driver with the opportunity, just couldn't get onto it. Well, it's been a bright start to the match from both sides, showing their attacking intentions. The driver set up by Velichka beautifully out onto Nielsen. He just couldn't get the connection he wanted. Benner wins it. Lefaro Hughes, Lasley. And Salvez picks up. The driver. Driver looks ahead, continues to go, tries to get away from McGarry. Beautifully chipped out wide. Chisnowskis waits. Nielsen inside him. Played across onto Velichka. This is the brightest that Hearts has started in many a match at Tynecastle. Good play forward onto Chisnowskis. I turned it back in field. The leech gun under pressure. Good tracking back by Reynolds. He just blasted it wide. Stevie Frail now, caretaker manager in the latest title. And he's in charge. Karapidis. As well as Velichka, won by Patterson. As well as. So down onto Velichka. Velichka steers it neatly out to the left. Driver up against Quinn. Shown the inside. Takes it onto Kuznavichus. So with Stewart. Here's Driver. Kuznavichus had made a terrific run into the box. Kuznavichus delivers. Just now
10 minutes gone in time castle. There it is, Chesnowskis scores for the fourth time for Hearts and for the fourth time in the Scottish Cup. Terrific movement, Stuart involved. Slip ball by a driver, had to kiss an amateur, Spotterwell couldn't defend it and guided into the opposite corner. Kizanavichus does a great run wide on the far side by Andy Driver. Kizanavichus tries to find him and does beautifully. Now Andy Driver, Chisnowskis has made the run. Nielsen too is going himself. Andy Driver for the top corner. Superb counter-attacking football from Hearts. Sweet pass from Kizanavichus. And Driver, well, he used the run of Chisnowskis and also Robbie Nielsen went for it himself. a million miles away. Nielsen, well, that just a little clumsy, Robbie Nielsen. Jim Patterson, well, used to playing far forward with Dundee United, now converted to full-back. Just testing how solid the ground is on that far side. Cormac driven in, Kurskis looked uncomfortable as he pushed it away. Well, you wonder what's going through his head. It's an awkward bounce up, but really it was catchable. I'll take it quickly, McGarry. Back up to McCormack, he drive that ball over. Far too heavy. Well, well committing players forward very well. Be delighted with the start that his team made in terms of losing the goal. Well, Chris McCart, who spoke so movingly at the funeral mass of Phil O'Donnell, watching on. Now here come Mullerwell, in a bit of space, Paul Quinn. Quinn, Lasley on the overlap. Well, they played it off Palazuelos, comes back to him, he's uncomfortable on that left side. Stephen Hughes moves forward, he hits it with the right, flicked on by Bear, an opportunity for McGarry. Well, he didn't realise it, but if he'd left it alone, Motherwell would have had a corner. Well, good patient build-up play by Motherwell. Actually, Hughes played it in. It was awkward for McGarry, but if he'd left it, it was a corner. And he thought he could just try and wrap his foot round the ball, but it was not to be. Porter flicks the ball on. Gets it back again off Clarkson. and Porter sliding in with Andy Driver. Driver not happy about the challenge. Here comes Mark Reynolds. Reynolds out wide onto Jim Patterson. Motherwell of players in the box. Cross comes in. Porter shapes the header. Uh, Motherwell's top goal scorer was involved in the start of the move and nearly rounded it off as well. Jim Patterson wrapping his left foot round the ball. Porter up well ahead of Berra, just off target. In field, Lasley will lose out to Palazuelos. Palazuelos, Chisnowskis now on this left hand side gets the first touch ahead of Quinn. Chisnowskis onto Palazuelos again. Hughes has tracked him back. You'll have to play that. Plays it straight back to Palazuelos. The ball goes in field. Craigan knocked it on. And Quinn managed to guide it away only as far as Gonzalez. Problems here for Muller at the back. Andy Driver trying to move in past Hughes. It's going to be a hard throw. Well, Hart's noticed the difference with Andy Driver back. Gonzalez winds up the long throw, Velitsky gets the head flick on, and well turned away, Andy Driver was almost in. Ball back in the box, Palazuelos knocked away by Hughes. Gonzalez gets ready to go in with Clarkson. And, well, there not appear to be much in it, and Stephen Craig and puts the ball away in frustration. The referee didn't see it. at all, he's played well, things not going Motherwell's way. Stewart loses it out to Lasley, little flick on by Porter, only as far as Gonzalez. Milichka and Craigan battling for it, 
Well, Velicka is exceptionally strong. He almost got the ball away. It's a shout for handball. The referee, off in good position, said no. And McCormack out wide onto McGarry. Well, they were looking for something just before half time. Hughes. Clarkson wants it wide on the right hand side. It might come via Quint. Clarkson back onto Quint. Oh well. Left to right to left. Still not finding a way through. There was a push in the back that time by Reynolds on Belichka. Driver wins it, plays it on to Chisnowskis. Chisnowskis forward on to Driver. Kiznavichus in good position. Kiznavichus being asked to go all the way wide for it. And uh, Stephen Cregan just shields the ball out of play. The well, Hearts claim for handball. Ball bouncing around, and that was played up off the arm of Mark Reynolds. It just bounces up. Reynolds just off the elbow. He'd be unhappy if that went against your team. Salves plays the ball away. The half time whistle goes at Tynecastle. And Hearts are ahead of the Scottish Cup. Thanks to the goal from David S. Chisnowskis. His fourth goal for the club. They've all come in this competition. Andreas Velicka, too, has been a presence for Hearts. But Hearts, well, they've had the better of the attacks. Motherwell with plenty of possession. But half time, it's the home side who's happy. Hearts 1, Motherwell 0. Get us underway at the start of the second half. Looking to become the first team to win twice at Tynecastle in the same season since Celtic in 2004 2005. Celtic winning both in the SPL and the Scottish Cup. Motherwell looking for a similar double. Hearts haven't fallen at home at the first hurdle in the Scottish Cup tie in 28 years. And they lost against Morton in a replay. Motherwell moving forward, Gonzalez battling. Motherwell want a corner kick, it's not going to be given. Well, he's been lively in the first half, Ross McCormack. He has to try and be a little bit more effective. Mark McGee will want more from all his front players. Well, there are only about 3,500 Motherwell fans at Tynecastle this afternoon. Well, they've given their side great backing. We want to see an equalising goal. Ball through the middle, Andrews Felicka. Brilliant touch, Andrews Felicka could get two for Hearts, he has! Szczesnowskis with the first, Felicka with the second, and it's a Lithuanian delightful double for Hearts. Wonderful solo goal from Andrews Felicka. Trick at this stage last season against Stranraer, and he puts Hearts two up ahead of Motherwell. Kurskis with a long ball through, flicked on by Stewart. Great play from Velicka, away from the goalkeeper on the right foot finish, and Hearts take control of the Scottish Cup tie. Excellent play, got away from Patterson, and rounded it off on the right foot. Some of Hart's passing this afternoon has been terrific. And driver with another fine example, Robbie Nielsen. Hart's through Chisnowskis, Kiznavichus and Velitska away in the delivery of his countrymen. Chisnowskis plays it across, Kiznavichus with an awkward little header. Well, you won't find it in any textbooks, but he did get it on target. Chisnowskis across, and they do say head it down. Stephen McGarry is being replaced by Darren Smith. Darren Smith has been a sub in the last four matches. Today's charged with turning around a cup tie. Get off the back of Velichka. And Robbie Nielsen beaten to it by Clarkson. Clarkson being tracked back by Chesnowskis. Clarkson. Clarkson's fans delighted at the contribution of Chesnowskis. Here's Hughes. An obvious way through for Mullerwell. Well, it's a delightful flick onto McCormack. Scores. He scored in the FA Cup last 
last year he scores in the Scottish Cup this year, and Motherwell are back in the match. Well, Hearts had so many players back, there looked to be no way through, but a delightful little flick. McCormack over and Porter ramming the ball home. He moves into double figures for the season. But more importantly for Motherwell, the Scottish Cup hopes remain. Leslie Clarkson, it's beautiful for Motherwell. McCormack plays it on to use. That's more like Motherwell. Now McCormack. And Christoph Berra comes across. They started to string the passes together, Motherwell. Well, their performance against Dundee United was said by Mark McGee to be one of their best of the season. They're starting to find that form. Patterson. Kuskus comes out for it. Oh, he flats horribly again. Well, there's a goalkeeper with very little confidence. Reynolds on to Patterson. And well, pressing for an equaliser. McCormack. Lasley's made a great run. Good touch from Lasley. Goalkeeper waits for it. He's under pressure. And brings the ball down, and the pressure from Chris Porter. Well, anything that's chipped into the box as heart supporters nervous. And Marcus Kurskis doing enough that time. But oh, Hearts are going to make the change. Andy Driver is withdrawn. Scored against Motherwell this season, no goals this afternoon, but his presence meant so much for Hearts. And it gives way to Lee Wallace, who, when he was last on the field of play, was winning a goalkeeping jersey. He'll be glad to have the normal number three on his back. Ball through on to Berra. Berra can't get there, an opportunity for Lasley. Lasley pulls it across, Porter! He just loves scoring goals in time. finish Karapidis was stuck he watched it flash past him Palazuelos couldn't close down and no chance for Eduardo Skurkis well her Motherwell loved that Hearts 2 Motherwell 2 12 minutes to play Motherwell now They'll feel the, in the ascendancy. As well as. As well as again. Angle ball looking for Velitska. Brought it down. Opportunity for Velitska. What a block that was. Comes down to Mikulinas and Velitska tackle each other. Well, when you only need one, there was two. Velichka, superb block, and then the two players get in each other's way. Well, Quinn came across, threw his body out. Gonzalez, and Wallace, and then that left hand side, Wallace battling with Cregan. And that three Stuart Dougal says that's a free kick, and it's also going to be a yellow card. Stephen Cregan, and spoken to by Stuart Dougal, and the yellow appears. Wallace and Michelinus. Michelinus played it in, Palace Willis almost got the head on, breaks back, off the line by Cregan, Keys and Amatusen's brushed away. And now McCormack, it's one of the most dangerous of the Motherwell players, up against Nielsen. Wilson happy, knocked the ball out of play. Decent ball in, little flick on. Good tracking back, it was Porter on the line. And we'll have it on back to back matches at Tynecastle since season 81 82. And a real 
chance now. Good battling in the midfield. Clarkson, Motherwell moving forward. David Clarkson is opening up for him. He's going for the low shots. Players to the left, players to the right. He went down the middle. And the shot was dragged wide. As it's Ross McCormack, he might earn their praises if he can get something going here. He's out again, Ross McCormack going in, he's playing it across and Gonzalez away. Porter was ready for the tapping and a hat trick. Hearts are rocking, played beautifully across and Gonzalez, right time, right place. Across. Robbie Nielsen gets it away. Ottawa forward again. Leaning in there was Canapitas. Gets the ball onto Stewart. Stewart now wide onto Lee Wallace. Five minutes to play. At Tynecastle for setting tie now. Wallace skips in field. Vasquez and Amateurs could come to Velichka. He's got a powerful right foot. Velichka goes in. Velichka crosses, taking a deflection off the crossbar. Patterson came across to meet the challenge. Well, Velichka going in just off the calf of Jim Patterson. It could have gone anywhere. And thankfully, from a Motherwell point of view, it rattled the bar. But the Hearts fans and the goal defended. And Graham Smith thought that this was their moment. And they swung in, goalkeepers missed it. It was upended by Paul Quinn. Christoph Benna happy to get the throw and leave it for Robbie Nielsen. Robbie Nielsen. Now he goes for the long throw, flicked on by Benna. And the ball rather died in the turf, didn't bounce up high, but it was well wide in the end. Ovation for David Clarkson on a difficult afternoon for the Motherwell number 12. And he's performed so well. And he deserves that from Scott Leach. Hearts will be waiting at the substitute. Mark Fitzpatrick scored the winner in the 3 2 match at Easter Road in the semi final of the League Cup. The last three meetings in the Scottish Cup between these sides have been decided in 90 minutes. Will it be the same again today? Michelunas onto Palace Willos. Good block from Stephen Cregan. Carapetus running forward, flicks it on. It's Reynolds turn to head it away. Gonzalez again trying to find a way through. Palace Willos from Pospisil. Palace Willos can't find Velichka. Here comes Robbie Nielsen. Nielsen forward. Stephen Hughes away. Porter beaten by Berra. Now Gonzalez. Osmissa would have made a good run. But they were happy just to clear. Done by Berra. Hughes will pick up. Porter there again. Berra reaching round. Plays it away. Field it to Stewart. Stewart too far past Wallace. Quinn. Lovely touch to get away from Stewart. Quinn. Sends it out wide. Nielsen. And Michelunas now. Just ebbing away here at Tyne Castle. And we'll do one more attack for Hearts. Gonzalez. Gonzalez forward onto Michelinus. Michelinus with a touch. Craigan across. And Stephen Craigan under control. Well, I thought he'd just knock it away. He'll shoot for handball. Stuart Dougal agrees. He's put some shift this afternoon, Stephen Craigan. And the Motherwell management team. The side looked down and out at 2 0. Stevie Phil in the background cast a rueful glance across Tyne Castle. The side had the match in their hands. And it's just gone through them. Smith plays it away. 
The replay looming large. Not to be by Krieger. And the full time whistle goes at Tyne Castle for our handshakes all round. But Hearts have led by two goals to nil. Now extend the matches without a win to ten. Well, Chris Porter, what a second half he had. Hearts two ahead. But Porter, the man who rescued Motherwell with two good goals, plenty of teamwork, and all the Motherwell players will thank the travelling support. Hearts had this match on their hands, but Motherwell showed character and determination. And Motherwell quite rightly earned the draw. It finishes here at Tyne Castle. Hearts two, Motherwell two. Stevie, you're the 2-0 lead this afternoon. Your thoughts? Just disappointed that we, we didn't uh, take the other chances that we created. I said to the players at half-time, we were doing fine, but we have to take chances. We go 2-0 up and then we have another chance to make it 3-0. We don't take it. But I think all credit to Motherwell. Uh, everything that's went with today and the way they fought back uh, is a credit to everyone at their club. But I'm just disappointed that we have now to go to a replay having been in a position to win the game. Mark, it was always going to be a difficult day. How did your players cope? I think uh, it was going to be a difficult day, only up to a point, because I expected it to be and hoped it would be the sort of game it was. It was a great game, a great Scottish Cup tie, and I thought our players coped admirably. Um, going 2 nothing down, wasn't particularly pleased at that, obviously, um, but it was only to do with football and nothing else, and uh, these things happened. So to come back from that position showed that they are mentally strong, it showed that they are determined, and it showed they're, they're back. You mentioned didn't defend well, you had plenty of players back. Was that the frustrating thing that Motherwell did seem to cut you open quite simply? Well, I don't know how simple it was. I need obviously have another look on the video. I think the lad made a run across Robbie Nielsen for the first goal and fired the ball across the box. The second one, uh, it's a ball played up the park and uh, I've just spoken to Christoph Berra there on it. I thought he should have maybe just came and, and, and cleared it and we could defend the throw in, but maybe a little bit of indecision again, which cost us at Dundee United as well. And both goals were well created and Chris Porter, right time, right place. Yeah, in particular the second goal was a terrific finish, but um, well created the first one um, by Ross McCormack, a great bit of play to get him down the side, um, and, a, and a, an intelligent ball that left you know Chris with an easy chance. The second goal was a much more difficult finish, but it was a terrific finish, and uh, um, gladly it's got us a draw. The fixture's now piling up, but I guess you would have accepted the replay when you were 2-0 down. Yeah, I'd accepted the replay before this game, to be honest. I thought this was going to be a difficult game for us. I saw Hearts last week in the second half, and it looked as if, to me as if they are back a little bit as well. So I knew it was going to be a difficult game. So um, I draw a good result for us here today, given the circumstance, and uh, we'll look forward to a really difficult replay. Yeah, it's really good match to kick off the programme tonight, John.